in my last video you saw uh, we saw how to uh, manage the users but mainly we have focused uh, in my last video on different parts different components of Jaspersoft let's see how to manage the users how to add a user how to delete a user how to assign a role in Jasper server so we know uh, when we don't have any our own user we can use the default users which is given by Jasper server by default like Jasper admin or Joe user Joe user so for and we should after first login we should disable these users because Everybody who installed this Jasper server in their corporate world or personal laptop, they have their div. they know the same default password. So better to reset the password or delete the user and create your own server uh, own user. See, in managed in the toolbar in manage there are users. By clicking on users, you can see the different existing users like Jasper Admin Joy user. So let's create our own user, add user like if I'm using admin user, admin user, admin user, email is optional password you can give like anything for time being I am giving like admin user same admin user Add. so this user is added but we need to assign roles so when we create the default user we have the role user by default we will you add role administrator as well by adding role administrator role this uh, user will act like admin user so once this done you can no more want jasper admin to be a jasper as an admin user so just add it or you can delete also just remove the administrative role from here from here in fact everything has been removed so it can't access anything but it can log in but it will not able to access just do the logout and try to access admin user uh, first we will try to access using jasper admin uh, then we will see what happened see access denied but we are able to log in but later on uh, all the components are not able to uh, we are not able to see let's log out and from our newly created uh, user we will check again admin user admin user and login see we can see everything we can see manage user let's log Let's try to log in using the other user to see what difference we can we will get when we log in into using Joe user. If you see, we can see the library, we can see the view, the repository, but we are not able to see the manage account manage uh, toolbar. So because we don't we don't have administrator privilege to add user delete user and here also a data source components gone only reports content files and analysis because when we 
because row user is like a reporting user or end user or business user so this user should not access the backend of the reports backend of the reports means database data source so only he the user can see the data in maybe csv format or maybe it's in the report format but how we are configuring because if uh, anybody any end user by mistakenly deleted or modified some connections which impacted the rep uh, which will impact the report to generate then it will be a problem so we are give uh, we will not uh, giving the access to end user other things which other things which are like pdf excel whichever we exported into this content files that is are required so those folders are available and then this is schema because it's a dynamic things user can uh, upload his schema and drill down so those things are available and reports anyway we publish on the server for their use only so those things are available so these are the different between a uh, admin user and the normal end user and we we watch how to do the how to delete or how to add a new user how to add the into the administrative role and we saw the repository for the normal user so in the next video we will schedule uh, we will talk about the how we do the scheduling thank you guys